So, the next thing to get on with here in the tower um, is the electrics on this side. Obviously I'd run all the ways around that side when I had the panelling off um, and I was doing the window. So I've got three of the wall lights on that side all wired up now. The next thing is to start doing them on this side. So I'm going to need one about here and then I'll have the light switches um, into that panel and then I'll have another two on the panel over there as well. So I'll have to take the trim off, I'll um, cut a groove in the panel in and then I can hide the wires down there, take it along the bottom and then hopefully get it into the fuse box that way. So I've already took off all of the, um, the old trunking and the old wiring. So I've took all of the old wiring out of this section now, so it's looking a lot tidier. And I've got all of the old light switches off. Unfortunately, obviously we won't be using these just because they're not safe enough. Um, but we will keep them and try and do sync for sure, or sync like that with them. Um, so yeah, so it's all good. But I'll have to mark this panel off where I'm wanting the light and then drill a hole through the panel in and then chase the wire through and around and stuff like that. So yeah, it's another job. While the weather's bad, I thought I'd come inside and do this. So yeah, we'll crack on now. So as you've all seen, Terry's down here working on the second floor, trying to get the electric sorted. Now, I've been giving him a hand and I hadn't really spent much time here. And all of a sudden I've noticed our poor little plant here. Now it's a beautiful little yucca. And I know it's a yucca because of today's sponsor, today's show. It's the plant wrap. Now, I love anything that makes your life easy as we've brought to you before. But with this, all we need to do is literally take a picture and it comes up and it tells us that we've got a yucca. What it also does, you can see it's not healthy and we need to either put it in the right place or change how we're looking after it. 
within the planter app there is doctor planter so you can ask him um, ask him what's wrong with the plant what you can do to bring it back to to, to good health and, and 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 basically look after it properly the app's brilliant because it reminds me when to water the plant if it needs fertilizing it even comes up when it needs to be repotted as well so with the link in the description Add code LALASEL14 and you'll get a 14 day free trial for the premium features within the plant trap. I love it, it's something I'll mess around with all day long and when we get all the plants in the back garden and all around the land it's something I'll use to stay on top of them to make sure that we have a beautiful garden and I know you will love it when you, like say, when you can just take a picture and it tells you exactly where it is, I love anything like that. Check it out and we'll see you later on the show. So I'm getting there with the wiring. Obviously I've got all of the route sorted out now, so whichever way I'm going to be taking it. Um, it wasn't too bad to be honest, obviously just taking the skating board off, cutting a bit of the panelling, which a trim's going to go over it anyway, so you won't see the part that I've cut, which has been the best way to, to work it out really. Um, so yeah, so that's all done. So the next thing is to start getting the conduit and the wire through. Now the conduit that we've got comes pre-done with the wiring in. So we've got the free car wiring, um, which is already lined in the conduit. And obviously we've got the 1.5 mil wiring here, which is for your lights and your switches. So what I'll do is I'll get this one thread through first. And the easiest way that I've found it to do it is I've got a smaller piece of wire, which I thread behind whichever route I'm gonna take. Once that's through, then the end of it, all I do is these parts, I'll wind those around so they're all on, push it back in the conduit and tape it up just so it keeps it all tight together. And then when I'm pulling it through, obviously it pulls against itself and it, it just pulls it straight through. So even with the tightest gaps that I've had to sort out, it's, it's been really good doing it that way. So what I'll do first is I'll get this wire through and then I'll be able to join on the wire in the conduit so I can get back to the fuse box. And then once all these are done, we can look at getting the 2.5 cable with the conduit so we can get some plug sockets in. So I don't make the same mistake because I did upstairs. So I will get the wire through now and crack on.
So, I'm at the more of the wiring, and I'm just on the first floor now. I see the sort of ground floor, but with it being raised up, we classed it as the first floor. Um, and I'm just at the entrance here, so I need to bring the wiring from here because we're going to have some light switches for the wall lights on the middle floor and the chandelier for the middle floor. So I'm going to have to trace the wires for the light switches for here, straight up and into the fuse box on the middle floor. And then the light switches for down here, I'll have to trace from here into the fuse box on this side, which with having the door is going to be quite difficult because I'm not going to be able to go along where the skating board is. So it'll be a new challenge when I come to doing that one. But for now, I just need to get the light switch um, wiring for the middle floor so we can turn the lights on here um, straight through the roof ceiling along and into the fuse box. So I've got my fascia plate, what I'm going to be using to mount the light switches on. So it'll give me an idea where I want to bring the wires into. And then go from there. So it's going to be another slow job just working my way through it and getting all of the old wiring out and the old light switches. But I need to do it. And once it's done, it's another good job done. And then we can start moving on to the, the other rooms on the middle floor and start getting those sorted. So I'll start getting all the old electrics off first and getting all those out. And then we can look at trying to create a hole to go upstairs and then trace away through. So, more of the electrics? Yep. Yeah. Icy cold chateau. <laughs> it is cold. So, the next one to do now, I've got the light switches sorted, is to start looking at some of the wall lights. Yep. 
And you choose the most difficult one to start with. Well, yeah. get the worst out of the way. Well, what we hope will be the worst. I don't know with this place. No. So I'm wanting this one to go on this curved wall here, which isn't too bad. But the problem we've got is obviously the old staircase that went down into the um, the cave. cellar, the yeah. cave. Yeah, is gone. Yeah, doesn't exist. <laughs> Seen better days. <laughs> And because it's been closed off for so long, um, when we've been opening cupboards up and stuff like that, there's a couple of things obviously that even that uh, like frightens me. Mm -hmm. So, so you can imagine how I am. Yeah, Ash isn't the the best of people to deal with spiders, and because there's so many dark spaces in here with the paneling and the cupboards and stuff like that, there's lots of spiders. There is, but not only any spiders. We have the spiders that are called zombie spiders. So these are spiders that have got like turned completely white um, due to the being sort of like infected yeah. with this sort of disease, I think it is, from another spider. And they stay in this sort of comatose state. But they're not dead. They're not dead, but they don't do now. They just sort of stay there. Yeah. Just but the big and all the joints turn into big white blobs. So these little spiders end up looking like the size of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've never actually been in here and opened this door to get in. And as soon as we opened it, obviously there's quite a few there, wasn't there? I made a squeal. <laughs> and then I ran and got the hoover and hoovered them all up and Terry shouted at me because he wanted to video them. <laughs> there's a couple still in there, so I'll try and get some videos of them to show you. But um, like I said, we're going to get a, a hole through the panel in now. And we're just trying to work out what route we're going to take to, to get it back to the fuse box. Yeah. So I think we're going to go through the panel in here, through next door, and then up, back through the wall here, up into the ceiling, across, across, down, along, <laughs> and then. I'm glad you know what we're doing, because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> so it's not complicated at all. <laughs> but first of all, like I said, we'll get a hole drilled, um, and then we're just using the, the 1.5, aren't we? Yeah for the oh, lighting and it's obviously already put in the conduit so it saves us a job of threading it off through the conduit which we've learnt before <laughs> yeah <laughs> the hard work yeah yeah so we'll get on now with it come on then come on then we've got it done we've managed to get our conduit in now this is there's double layer here, so there's the panel and then there's another layer of wood behind it. So we thread it through into the actual, these are the old stairs, which are a bit rickety. And don't look at the air ladders, because not health and safety. Um, what, with the little up. panel there, holding it up? It, it's, hell, it's, it's, it's sturdy enough, <laughs> as long as I hold on to it when you're up there. So we've threaded up through, we've had to go through a beam or two, yeah. across, up and now we can pull it down into the fuse box and we're all safe yeah so yeah so i'll show you in here obviously the route that we've had to take this is the old staircase we've got our trusty little eco floor so we've got some light so ash has brought it through here and then we're going to chase it all the way up right through up to there so then we've gone through the pan uh, we've gone through a beam up there haven't we uh -huh. um to get through because there was no other route and then we have to go through that boom there and then you can just see a bit of light there. So we have to take it up onto the second floor, don't we? And then we have to bring it back down to come down here. And then we go around there, right the way around here. And we'll feed into a fuse box that will be in here. Eventually. Eventually. So for now we will get this through. I've just drilled through the other beam there. So we can get that through and then start threading it through. Yep. Don't yeah. Good. good, right. I'll uh, get this through here and then we can get through. Come on then.
Lord said, let there be light, and we have light. Honestly, it's just absolutely amazing to, to have light in here. Yeah. It's just unreal. It just, walking, even just walking in last night, it was so, so cold, but it was warm in here. Yeah. Yeah, you it just, just felt too. warmer. Mm -hmm. Getting, obviously, the, just the colour of lights that we've got. So mm -hmm. we've gone with the, um, they've got like a, like a um, amber tone to them. Um, and they're just LED, so they're really low power down there. But it's been fantastic. Obviously, we've got all of the routes sorted for the wiring. Mm -hmm. All the wiring in. Yep. All of them work. Looks amazing. It looks unbelievable. It's even amazing as well. We've done it. Yeah. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's all done now. So, we can obviously leave this off for now and then we can start on getting some of the rooms sorted. Yeah. Exciting times. Yeah, that would be good. Obviously getting the wiring sorted for the the, the rooms that we're going to let out. Mm -hmm. And then after all of the messy work's done, it'll be getting on to doing the decorating. Yeah. Well, we haven't forgot about the kitchen. The kitchen's going to take some time because it's not even an easy job. So we're in the process of trying to sort a few things out right now. Yeah, with so. the kitchen. It is, um, yeah, <laughs> unbelievably difficult would be the word. Yeah, to get things that's going to fit within our budget and getting sorted and the time frame as well like one place that they could do it and it's six seven months six, before seven we can months. even attempt to think about it so yeah so we'll see obviously we, we're still gonna have to get some work done up there so we need to get the beam sanded mm -hmm. and the floor sanded mm -hmm. so we'll still be cracking on with that well, that's messy jobs isn't it once they're done then we're pretty much done up there and we can close it off till the kitchen it's, comes yeah definitely so yeah so that's another good job done ticked mm -hmm. off the list and a big thank you to the plan to wrap for sponsoring today's video. Check them out and get your link in the description for a 14 day free trial. Yeah, hopefully I might be able to keep plants alive now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, right, we'll get sorted now. Thank you for watching. Please, obviously like and subscribe. Obviously it massively helps us. And get back to as many comments as we can. We do, we're trying to get back to as many as we possibly can amongst other things. <laughs> yeah. And obviously just, to help support us in whatever way you can, just watch the ads. Obviously, if they're only a couple of minutes long, mm -hmm. cost you absolutely nothing, but mm -hmm. it means the world to us. Share the channel through your YouTube, our YouTube channel, through your Facebook, Instagram, anything, any way you can to think it'll help grow us. And that, that's, that's yeah. amazing if you could. Yeah, just to help bring this place back to life. Mm -hmm. But for now, we're going to get sorted and see what the job sees to do. Come on. Come on then.
If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos. <laughs>